Hello, my name is Colin Reddington, and this is the latest in my series of hints and tips on Microsoft Access. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you can actually edit linked Excel files directly from Access. Now, it may surprise you that there's actually a video to make on this topic, because back in 2002 there was a copyright infringement case that Microsoft lost, and that was related to how Excel and Access interacted. And as a result of losing that case, Microsoft chose to remove the ability to edit Excel, CSV files and text files directly from Access. Now, they're slightly different in, in the way they behave. CSV and, te and text files can't be edited, though you can surprisingly add new records. Linked Excel files are even more restricted. They are totally read-only. You can't add re records, you can't edit records, and you cannot delete records. So the ways around that for most people are either that they import the Excel file as a local table, edit it, and then re-export it back to Excel, or more simply, you use automation to directly edit the Excel file within Excel itself. And for most people, those are the only methods they know, but there is another method, much less well known, and I'm going to explain that to you now. Now, what I'm going to use here is an Access database which is linked to three different files. They're identical in terms of the data, an Excel file, a CSV file and a text file. Let's go directly into the Access database. And I've already linked these as you can see here. There's the Excel file. Let's open that and you can see here then that we've got 270 records and those, if I actually try and click on those, I can't do anything with it at all and I can't add any new records and I can't delete any records there. It's completely read-only, as I said before. The difference here is the CSV file, although again it's read-only, if I try to edit it, this time I actually get a message. Updating data in a link table is not supported by this ISAM. I'd get exactly the same sort of message if I try to delete. Deleting data is not supported. So I can't add, sorry, I can't edit, and I can't delete. However, surprisingly, I can actually add new records there. And I can carry on editing while I remain in that record. Or once I come out of that record, if I go back into it, it then becomes read-only. So I'm stuck with that rather meaningless record there. Exactly the same is true if I use a text file here. This is a tab delimited this time. And here, again, I can't edit. I can't delete. But once again, I can add a new record. And again, once while I'm still in that record, I can go back and edit it. But once I come out of it, again, it's read-only. And the same applies if I try to actually make a query from any of those. They're still exactly the same properties as you'd expect. And yet, I have got a different one here. And this time, I have got a query which is totally editable. I can edit individual records. I can now add a new record, just like I can in a CSV file. I can come out of that and go back in, and I can still edit it. The one thing I can't do, I still can't delete. So I seem to have contradicted myself because I said that queries based on these tables, these link tables here, are not editable. But I've got a different sort of query here. Let's show you this in design view. Excel file here. And what I've actually got in this, if I go to SQL view, you can see here that I'm actually not linking to that Excel table there, I'm linking to the original external Excel file. So I'm selecting all fields, Excel.star. Subquery here, select all fields from 
the cheat one call it Excel data and I'm telling it where to find that the arguments here are important it's an Excel X Excel SX file so I need Excel 12.0 I'm including headers I could exclude them this is the crucial line I'm X equals zero I'll come back to that in a second ACCDB file and I'm calling the the table there alias Excel now by setting IMX equals zero as mentioned already and as I've shown you already is editable but that isn't the standard method or rather it isn't the standard argument the standard argument would be two it can be zero one or two if I change that to two and go back to here it's become read only again let's change that back to zero now let me show you something rather strange I've got a form here that is based on that query to the external Excel file the form is also editable as you'd expect now I'm going to open that linked Excel table and whilst I've got the form open it becomes editable in other words it's taken on the characteristics of the original Excel query to the external file and that gave me an inspiration of actually simplifying this still further if you have a recent version of access it's got a modified linked table manager I'm just going to say yes to that now if I now go here go to the link table manager here's my Excel file here and I'll click on edit and it allows me to look at the connection string now when you first set up the link table there you don't have the option of setting this but you can alter it afterwards Excel 12 XML headers yes I'm X equals 2 the standard the default and the last thing there ACC B, DB equals yes now let me change that to zero close forgot to do something there let's go back to this I'll refresh the link now I've got nothing else open this has now become editable as well it only works with IMX equals zero as I mentioned let's show you again with IMX equals one and if I set IMX equals one I'll refresh it it's back to read only the magic value is IMX equals zero it's the only one of the three possibilities that works now as you'd expect I also tried doing the same thing with the CSV file refresh close unfortunately it doesn't work so it works for Excel files but not for CSV and indeed if I tried it for the text file it would be exactly the same again so we do have a way now of getting Excel files to be directly editable within Access if you've got an early version of Access up to about 2016 I believe with the old link table manager you've got no simple method of editing that connection string but you can still use this external query that I mentioned originally and then you can set a form on that but if you have the newer versions of Access you can edit the connection string directly within the Access database okay let's summarize Solution one then, create a query to the external Excel file and make sure you set the IMX constant equal to zero to make it editable file. That was the query SQL that I used there. So selecting all fields, subquery here, telling it where to find that location there and setting the arguments 
header can be yes or no but IMEX must be zero but the simpler method if you have modern versions of access with the newer link table manager is you edit the linked connection string once again setting IMEX equals zero and that's the arguments I used in this particular case and that's all there is to it and yet practically nobody seems to know about it perhaps a few more people will do now Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you found that useful and indeed I suspect for many of you you found out something you weren't aware of already. If you did find this useful, please will you add a like and leave a comment. Suggest topics for future videos in the series. I'm always open to new ideas. And please subscribe. You'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Thanks again. See you soon.